say you want to send a personalized letter to the people in your database. I use a database with employees in certain departments and I'm going to, uh, to tell them they have been with our company since a certain date and because of their work in a certain department we are going to update their hourly rate by a certain percentage. So we have for that purpose simple tables as I showed you but it's wise to create a query based on, on that information. And I put in their last name, first name, date of hire, the old rate, the new rate is a calculated field, uh, the department, etc. So how does that query look? The beginning is very simple, but for the old rate I created a field that is renamed old rate colon and then I use the hourly rate field from my table but I format it with a function. You can use format or format string sign. Why? Because Word will otherwise not show dollar signs in this proper way. And it will have more decimals than what you want to show. So I'm, I'm saying I want to format it this way based on the hourly rate field. Of course for the next field I have to do something similar. But this time I call it new rate colon. Again I use the format function based on the hourly rate times 1.1, so a 10% increase based on that format. And the rest is all straightforward. So this is what the thing looks like. You close that query and then save it and open it again. We are going to call Word for we want a mail merge. And Word is very helpful, very successful in creating a mail merge. So we go to external data, word merge. You want an existing word document, sometimes you do. I don't have one yet, so I create a, create a new one. Okay. And there is that thing. It's, uh, it tells you here what you need to do. So what document type do you want? I'm going to choose letters, but sometimes you want labels or envelopes. That is up to you. So I go to the next step, starting the document. I'm going to say use the current document. Next step, use an existing list. So I go to the next step and write your letter. If, if you made a mistake you can go back to previous. You, you can still edit your recipients list. You can say click certain people off. Mm, you can do that here. I would prefer doing that in the table itself and then add a field yes, no, true, false that you can set. So we go to the next one. We write our letter. Dear. And then you can insert the last name, first name. S sometimes you can just use the greeting line one. And it has here the first one, the second one, the third one. If you don't believe it, you can check here that they all work fine. You can also select how you want to greet them. Okay. And there we go. Comma. Enter. And then the rest you type. You have been with our company since And then I go to the more items option and I choose the field I want, the date of hire. I double click on it, close it. Working in the department, more items, department, close. We decided to update your pay from what it was first, before, the old rate, those are all query fields, to the new rate. Insert or double click and close. And you could keep going on and on and on. Next, preview your letters and you will see that everything is beautifully
formatted. If you don't like the way that date is formatted, you can use the format function again like we did before in the other fields of the query. Okay. We can still edit the recipient list. Each time we say, oh, certain people should not be, or you go through it manually, and then you exclude a certain recipient. And you just keep going by clicking on the next recipient, next recipient, next recipient, etc. I, I happen to have two commas here because the, the first comma came automatically with the greeting line. And then finally you complete the merge. And then it will do all the work. I'm, I'm just going to um, close Word. Don't save that document. And that's how you make a mail merge. So the, the secret is basically in the query that you format well, that you have the correct information in there, and the rest you just type one time, and all the variables come in from your access database.